Thank you. It's an honor to sit in front of you. Oh my gosh, I think I might actually cry. I do that a lot. Um, <laughs> I this this today has been fabulous. I have learned and absorbed so much that I am so excited that I will have this CD um, to listen to over and over again. Um, but this is my question. Um, I can put myself very much in the vortex when I imagine things that I think I want. And the, the quandary is whether or not things I think I want are okay to want. Well, if they put you in the vortex, then the answer has got to be yes. In other words, when you realize that being in the vortex, the feeling of being in the vortex is a feeling of elation. It's a feeling of positive emotion. It's a feeling, it's a good feeling. And when that good feeling is present, what it always means is your active thought in your physicality, your active thought that you are projecting with this physical being, that active thought matches the active thought of your source. That, and so if it feels good, that's what it means. It means source agrees with that thought. So how do you know then, because then the, then the next question in my mind is then, okay, then I just need to make a leap for that. And that's a little um, more intimidating than just well, basking in the fun of, of imagining. So, so think about what that, so think about what that statement that you just made think about how it resonates with source you said so i think i just need to make a leap and then you said "Ooh, that feels intimidating well what does the intimidating feeling emotion tell you that i'm that, afraid what does the fearful thought tell you it tells you that inner being the source within you is not in agreement with that thought oh <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Well, yeah, because it, it frees me from then picking on myself because you have all this fear. If you didn't have all this fear, you'd just jump into this. And I'm thinking... Oh, oh so break that down and, and spell it out again. So you said, when I think I can do anything, I feel elation. So that tells me that my inner being agrees with my thought that I can do anything. When I think I'm inappropriate or I'm not prepared or I, or I, sh or I should just jump in, I should just... I should just grin and bear it and just jump in that fearful feeling that I get is my indicator that my inner being is not in agreement with that decision so then you just you just say well then how about this well then how about this well then how about this inner being what do you think about this inner being what do you think about this inner being what do you think about this inner being do you think I'm good hmm. inner being do you think I'm bad <laughs> inner being do you think that all things are possible for me Mm -hmm. inner being do you think that that I am bankrupt morally bankrupt and that nothing good will ever happen to me again uh. inner being do, do I need to figure this out all right now uh. inner being can I just take it one step at a time and will it all unfold for me just keep asking the questions but don't ask them so rapidly that you can't tell which emotions coming in response to which question Right. You see, yeah. isolate something that you really want to know and get a rampage of it going. And in other words, if you decide that you are doing something wrong and that you shouldn't have been doing it and you get really specific about it. And, and so you write an essay on how long your life has been, we're making this up, it's not you, but <laughs> how long your life has been going bad and how many things that you've done wrong and how finally you're going to get the bull by the horns and you're going to get this turned around finally. In other words, rampage that way and then stop and say, how did that feel? And you can feel how that that feels and when it feels as rotten as we know that would feel then say to yourself consciously oh this negative emotion means that my inner being is not even in the slightest in agreement with that rampage that I just offered not in agreement at all and then at another time not right on the heels of that because that's the vibration that's active but some other time when you're feeling particularly wonderful and wonderful things have been happening and you acknowledge how good you feel and how good life is to you and how nice people are to you and how well things are going and how much you know and how much you've learned and and how passionate you are about this or this or this and then stop and say ah oh, I can feel how my inner being feels about that 
In other words, let your emotions let you know whether you're leaning toward your inner being or away from your inner being. And as you practice that, reaching for the best feeling thought that you can find from wherever you are, before you know it, the vortex will take you in and you will know for sure who okay. you are. Because I have a really good life. From I mean, people looking at my life think I have a fabulous life. But I, I want... Well, that's nice. Other <laughs> and we, we like that people think that you have a really I good life. I think I have a really good life, but we I... We think that you do too, but we want what other people think about your life to be really irrelevant. And we want what you think about what they think to be really, really, really irrelevant. And, 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 and what we want you to make relevant is this thing that we're talking about, about that, that emotion that's sometimes subtle and sometimes not subtle. So what you're saying though, is that I, the, the, the yearning that I have, yearning clearly is out is, of the vortex. The, I mean, the, the desire that I have desire and yearning are very different. Okay. Then maybe yearning is not the, the, the desire for but expansion think about that, that I think have about that. We know we're nitpicking, but think about that. This has been a, a seminar of getting into the vortex. Yearning is wanting something that I don't have and standing in awareness that I don't have it while I'm thinking about then, it. Then it was the right word. And that's, it's not the word I that, want. That's what, that's what yearning is. And does, uh, one day we were, we were talking with a woman and we were wanting to guide her to the feeling of alignment. And so, and she had a lot of issues that she wanted to talk about. And, and we were trying to guide her to something that felt better so that she could demonstrate for herself alignment or resistance. And so we said to her, what is it that you want? What do you, what do you, what do you want to have? What would you like to have? What are your desires? And she couldn't think of anything. And so we started naming some things and she said, Oh, I've already got that. I don't want that. And what she was pointing out was that her idea of desire was that yearning feeling that you have over unfulfilled things. A lot of people think that, that that that's what desire is supposed to feel like. That desire is supposed to feel like something that you want that you don't have. And we say, you can hold yourself in never ending suspension away from the fulfillment of what you want under those conditions. In other words, you want to soothe yearning. You want to soothe anything that is uncomfortable and you soothe it by making it general, by making it irrelevant, by deactivating it. You soothe it by thinking about other things, by making other things that do feel good active. Oh, that's very helpful. That's very helpful. And a, and a distinction, isn't it interesting that it is a distinction that is lost on most people? No, I, I, but, but, yeah, I get that. But, but the, the readiness of you, the clarity of your question, your ability to feel, your willingness to listen, in this nucleus environment of, of only appreciation and willingness to allow. So here you are having a, an incredible insight that now you've got it. Everything in your world will shift everything, everything shifts. Now. It's been shifting so fabulously since the day I well, first it won't heard stop doing that. It won't stop doing that. So get ready. In other words, it, it, it doesn't stop shifting. It just gets better and better and better. So, so that's another reason to understand that since it won't stop shifting it, because the vortex is going to continue to expand and your relationship to the vortex as it expands, then is something that you've got to keep up with. The potential for satisfaction just gets greater and greater and greater and your capacity to experience the goodness gets greater and greater and greater and your willingness to experience the out of the vortex negative emotions becomes your, your unwillingness becomes a keener factor. You just get more sensitive to the way emotion feels and more determined. You might say more specifically focused in the direction of things that feel really good. And oh, what a wonderful time to be playing this conscious game because the energy is moving so rapidly and your vortex is spinning so full of so many wonderful things. And now you're consciously aware of your emotions. Things stand out in very predominant ways so that it becomes crystal clear when you're on track and when you're off track.
and after attending this gathering today you're clearer than you've ever been before I am absolutely absolutely thank you thank you very yes, much indeed.